Hello, welcome back to Aruba Proof of Concept Facility in Grenoble. Today I received the new switches for a proof of concept project and uh, let me show you how to easily set up my lab environment. So as you can see I have four 63 series access switches then two brand new 8360 top of racks. First have a look on the back so you can see my 8360 are equipped with uh, back to front cooling so you can easily recognize that by blue color on uh, the fans and power supplies okay so now let me connect the cables power on switches and we will start the configuration okay so both 8360 are now ready and I will use the CX mobile application for the initial setup. I prepared a customized template including all management settings like NTP, DNS, authentication to get all basic configuration loaded at once. So let's connect to the first switch up okay this one this is the top one connected and let's run the CX application okay first step as usual setting the password so this is really a temporary one and this password will be overwritten by my template. Initial config. I will skip the netedit part and I will choose the VSX POC template. So it will configure the basic VSX setup and also all settings to let me manage my switch from the lab. So host name distribution one, management IP. I configured my template to enter just the last digit of the IP address and my subnet mask and gateway are already configured in the template. ISL one and two physical interfaces. This will be my VSX primary and the keep alive interface. Next, validating. Looks good. Up, oh, I have the configuration to be loaded on the switch and deploy. Done. So now let's have a quick look on the console show VSX status we can see our local box is configured not yet the pure one I'm the primary so everything looks good at this stage now I will connect to the second one here okay and let's go back to the mobile app the same temporary password initial config let's skip net edit part and i will just change the data for the second one so the different name different management IP address we keep the same ISL interfaces this time secondary VSX and the same keep alive interface next validating looks good and deploy
successful. Now let's have a look on the console. Show VSX status. And we can see the VSX is now operational. Okay, so we are done for the 8360 VSX. Now let's move to the VSF stack. So now let's move to the VSF stack configuration. All four switches are connected using 50 gig direct attach cables. I can see all members on my Bluetooth. So let's connect to the top one, which is this one here. Okay, connected. And let's run the CX app. Still the same temporary password. Initial config. And this time we will start the stack config. So now the app will discover all VSF members and uh, the topology. Perfect. As we can see, we have uh, the ring connections. Let's see. The first one is the top. It will be the master. The second one, the third, we can see the LED blinking, and the bottom. Perfect. So let's set uh, the member two as a secondary member and we will keep uh, the three and four as uh, just members okay so now configure members waiting and it will take a couple of uh, minutes to configure all four switches and then reboot uh, the members 2, 3 and 4 to form the stack. So let's wait. OK, boot finished. The stack is ready. So now let's load the configuration. We will skip NetEdit and this time I will select my regular POC template letting me just to specify the host name and the last digit of the management IP address so it will be 174 in this case validating And deploy. Okay, let's have a quick look on the console. Show VSF topology, and we can see everything looks good. Okay, so now I will rack the switches, connect to my management network and we will move to the next box.